Stanford University. The earthquake is propagating upwards along the fault and eventually reaches the trench. As it does so, it creates large amounts of slip between the two plates. Some of that slip causes uplift of the seafloor, and it's that uplift of the seafloor that excites the tsunami. It pushes the ocean layer up, and as that water sloshes back down, it takes the form of, of tsunami waves. In addition to exciting tsunami waves, uh, rapid uplift of the seafloor also excites sound waves. Our simulation is capturing those sound waves as the dark colors here. Some of the sound wave energy is channeled offshore, but a lot of it is also propagated back. The pressure changes carried by these sound waves can be recorded by ocean bottom pressure sensors. They're cabled directly to the coastline, and that information can be processed in real time to provide early warning for residents. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.